Hello, I'm Yok Boon. Today I'd like to share with you on how to solve 6x6 magic square with Excel. Okay. So the principle of solving this uh, is magic square 6x6 is a family of 4n plus 2 where n equal to 1. Okay. So magic squares 4n plus 2 has no symmetry. So 6 also has no symmetry. So in magic square, to have a symmetry, it is not only having equal rows or columns, but also even number of rows and columns. That means, uh, let's say I break center here or anything, I cannot have, I must have 2 like that. Okay? Two. I cannot, let's say here center, I got 3, 3, so it cannot. In short, it is an asymmetry magic square. So to solve this, we need to transform the magic square. Right? That means in mathematics, we have 4n plus 2 equal to 2 bracket 2n plus 1. Okay, that means it is a magic square, odd magic square with square of 2 by 2. Okay, that means odd magic square that is 3 is we can solve. That means it has a symmetry. Right? So that means if let's say I break like this, that means it's an odd lady, symmetry. It's a 3 by 3 lady. Okay? Okay, how to solve? See. Okay, we go here. Okay, we just type 1, 2. Okay, then 6, 7, 7, 8. Okay? Okay. In Excel, we use all graphical, just type in the four numbers, then the rest is, okay, okay, now we put, right, fill, right, copy and fill, 26, okay, 236, so we have 1, 236, so the sum is triple 666, six, six. so divided by the magic square number that is 6, that means the answer is 1 1 1 okay so how to solve so as this one we for this one the invariant one is a symmetry invariant so we solve by the column first okay solve by this one first so then we put this one fix we move this one so that mean two square because now the square is not a single square it's a 2 by 2 square. Okay. So then we put back into the original. Put back into the original. Okay. Uh, then second we do for the, this one. Okay. We move the 2 square up. We move the square down. Okay. Then we turn back. So we already solved the 3 by 3 one, the, the symmetry part, the 3 by 3. So the asymmetry part is the, we need the square, every square here, we need to solve. So the first thing we solve the invariant, uh, what's it, invariant column. Okay. So to solve, we have to interchange. So we just move down one step like that, then we interchange this the top row with the right bottom row of the 2 by 2 okay similarly we do the same for the invariant row okay okay now so for this one, we already solved the invariant run. So the side one we haven't solved. So the side one we have to change with 4 here. We pull up, then the 7 and 8 we interchange. For this. And this one 18 and 17 interchange. Okay, then this one we take 2. And interchange. Okay, for this one we take. Two, okay, we interchange. Okay, just uh, then for this one we take four, and we interchange. 
Okay. Okay. So now we are ready to solve the magic square. So to check, we auto sum triple one. Triple one. Okay. Triple one. So we add the diagonal. Triple one. We have the another diagonal. Okay, so we have triple one. So we already solved the magic square by six by six, graphically using Excel. Okay. So that means if let's say you want to solve the uh, n equal to two, that is ten. The techniques is the same, but the patterns of moving the side is different. Okay, you okay. Okay, that's it. So if you like my channel, thank you.